Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the scintillating sun shards, which is one of the newer versions of the shard bombs. And we'll take a closer look at it. And it just looks like a big crystal with like little crystals around it. And it has a like a sunshine aura inside of it, so looks pretty nice. And for the scintillating sun shards attack, hold it above your head, and when you place it on the ground, a bunch of little shard bombs appear. And after they blink a few times, they explode in a huge explosion, as you can see right there. Now, I like the older version of the shard bombs better, but that's just me. Now, the scintillating sun shards are great against the beast and the fiend family, and they're even better against the fiend family because they naturally have a damage bonus versus fiend very high on them. And as you can see right here, we're dealing 139 damage with each blast, which is great. And the scintillating sun shards are not good against the construct and the slime family. And right here we're going up against some poison inducing slimes and some normal ones. And it's really not having much effect on these guys. Except it does have a fair chance of causing moderate stun. But that doesn't make up for the 22 damage which we see right there. Now if you do want to make the scintillating sun shards, you'll first need to get your hands on a splinter bomb. Then you can take your splinter bomb to sun shards. Then you can take your sun shards to the radiant sun shards, and finally you can make your radiant sun shards into the scintillating sun shards. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.